क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज रिलेटेड टू सर्कुलर पोलराइजेशन एंगल फॉर सर्कुलर पोलराइजेशन वी नीड टू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ सेम एम्पलीट्यूड दैट इज ऑफ सपोज वी हैव टू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ सेम एम्पलीट्यूड दैट इज ई वन इज इक्वल टू ई टू बट एट अज डिफरेंस ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री टू ईच अदर वेन दे पास थ्रू पोलराइजर विच इज एट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री to the field then these two waves are circular circularly polarized so for circular polarization the angle necessary is 45 degree question number 7 is stated as nose bleeding at high altitudes occur due to so uh, reason for this nose bleeding is as we go up from the sea level density of oxygen decreases and this makes air thinner and this thin air causes the inside of nose to bleed so the decrease in density of oxygen is the main cause of this nose bleeding in question number 8 distance between two conductive nodes is asked if we form a stationary wave here for example this is our stationary wave this this and this point are known as nodes and these points are known as anti nodes so here is the first node and its conductive node is this this is a complete wave so this distance with uh, is lambda so from this node to this node it is lambda over 2 and from this node to this node it is also lambda over 2 so distance between two conductive nodes that is from this node to this node or from this node to this node is lambda over 2 so the answer to question number 8 is just lambda over 2 question number 9 is related to a nuclear reaction that when a proton captures neutron it makes one deuteron and that is a proton capture a neutron and it gives deuteron plus something as we all know that deuteron contains one proton and one neutron so the particles at left hand side are also present at right hand side and also proton have a net charge of plus 1 and this has zero deuteron has also plus one charge so there is no violation of law of conservation of charge so the energy released in this process will be in the form of a high energy gamma ray photons so in this process a gamma ray is emitted with deuteron so the answer to question number 9 is a gamma ray photon question number 10 is work done to stop the motion of a car is equal to we can answer this by using uh, the work energy principle which states as the work done on a system is equal to just change in its kinetic energy so the work done to stop the motion of a car is equal to just change in kinetic energy of the car 